What is going on, everybody? It is your boy, Bad Dog, back with another New York Giants video. Thank you for watching, guys and girls. I really do appreciate it. Do me a favor. Hit the thumbs up. Helps me out huge. Hit the subscribe button. Make sure to ring the bell. Like I said, videos almost every day. Giants live streams, Giants talk shows, collabs, all that good stuff. You're going to want to be here for the season, trust me, because the emotional roller coaster that I go through is well worth the price, which is free. So hit the subscribe button. I got to lose. Got nothing to lose. Obviously, representing Big Blue with my big black hat because Little Bad Dog seems to have taken a liking to the blue one, which means I'll probably never see it again. But thank you for watching, guys and gals. Really do appreciate it. So, there was no way I wasn't making a video on this, right? Because I've become the Daniel Jones guy. Just so you kind of know, I just wanted to let you know. The Daniel Jones video that I did the other day about the pra his bad practice, that was a troll job. I hope you guys realize that. I hope some of you realize that. It's a job for the Daniel Jones apologists out there to just don't leave me alone about why you're so hard on him. I ain't going to be hard on him in this video, though. I'm going to tell you that right now. Brian Daybowl, Coach Daybowl has come out and said, Tyrod Taylor, maybe, maybe be getting some uh, snaps with the first string players. Now, I know there's 10% of Giants fans that are like, hell yes, get Tyra Taylor in there. Daniel Jones sucks. Sit him on the bench. If we want any chance to win, it's Tyra Taylor. Then he got another 10% of the Giants fan base. It's like, no way, Daniel Jones is gone. There's no way. He's, he's, everything's wrong. It's not Daniel Jones' fault. We all know. Then there's like 80% in the middle, which understand what's going on here. Daniel Jones is the starter. There's no question about that. I'm not on here telling you I want Tyrod Taylor to start at all. The only way Tyrod Taylor starts is if Daniel Jones gets injured or if the Giants are really bad. But I will say this. Some of you guys and girls think I'm really hard on Daniel Jones, and I'm critical of him. I admit that. But if you think I'm tough, and you don't know, then you, you, I think if people think I'm tough on him, then they don't live in New York. Because the New York media is way worse than I am. Way worse. Because and this is what I'm going to tell you about the Tyrod Taylor thing. The New York media can't wait for a quarterback controversy. Like, they are just dying for that. If Daniel Jones has a bad first half, <laughs> say the Giants lose the first game of the year 13-10. to 10. Daniel Jones has a bad game. He's 16 out of 32, 132 yards, two interceptions, fumble. Immediately after that game, Quarterback controversy, when's Tyrod Taylor coming in? I hope Coach Dable is ready for that. Now, he he was out in Buffalo. I don't really know if the Buffalo media and the New York City. Buffalo is not really New York City. It's not close to New York City. Let's be honest. It's all the way across the state. So I don't think the media out in Buffalo is the same as it is in the city. But I hope he's prepared to answer those questions because he's going to get them a lot. Now, as far as Tyrod Taylor taking snaps in the first string offense, it makes all the sense in the world, and it's not because Tyrod Taylor should be starting. When you're in practice, your job is to practice things. That's why they call it practice, right? You're working on stuff. You're working on the routes. You're working on the timing. You're working on your passing. You're working on your schemes. You're blocking, uh, you know, your defense, your pass rush, your blitz packages. You're working on everything so you can perfect it when you go into a game. You're working on everything out there to make you better, to sharpen your skills, to get ready to play an NFL football game. That's what practice is for. So that's why when people are like, oh, it's just practice. Yeah, I understand it's just practice, but you should be getting better in practice because if you can't practice well, if, you, if you're unable to practice well, why would you all of a sudden think somebody could just turn it on and be really good in a game? So, I mean, you know, and people can say, you're rough on Daniel Jones. Wink Martindale's been rough on Daniel Jones. What do you want, what do you want Wink Martindale to do? Say, hey, I'm not going to blitz. I'm just going to let him complete a couple passes so he feels good about himself, and then he gets in an NFL game and he gets killed. No. That's why I always say you got to mix the negative with the positive. But as far as Tyrod Taylor goes, you also got to understand you have to simulate game situations. And unfortunately for Daniel Jones and the New York Giants, in his career, he's failed to make it through an entire season without getting hurt. So say Daniel Jones does good. Say the Giants are locked in a 20-20 to 20 game with eight minutes to go in the fourth quarter or eight minutes to go in the third quarter, whatever, Daniel Jones happens to tweak a hamstring and he can't go, you know. Tyrod Taylor is going to have to come in there and wouldn't you want him to be acclimated with the first string guys? And that's what Dabo was talking about. He's probably just going to throw him in there in the middle of a series 
just to kind of simulate, hey, if, if something happens to Daniel Jones, we want Tyra Taylor to be ready to go in there and take it over. And it's the same thing. If Daniel Jones gets injured and has to miss a couple weeks, you would want Tyrod Taylor to get those snaps and get that action with the first-string players so he can kind of get acclimated to the first-string guys, get used to their time, and get used to what they like, where they like the ball, the ball placement. There's so much that goes into it. So I understand that some Giants fans would read this about Tyrod Taylor and they get ultra excited thinking Tyrod Taylor has a chance to start the year. And then, like I said, there's another group of people that are like, oh my God, what are they doing? There's no way that Tyrod Taylor can start over Daniel Jones. No way. This is blasphemy. But that's not why Tyrod Taylor may take first three. He's going to. I don't know why Coach Dable would not have Tyrod Taylor take uh, first string snaps or take snaps of the first string guys. It makes all the sense in the world. Because you want to, like I said, simulate every situation you can as far as like a game situation goes. So if that situation arises, you've planned for it a little bit. You don't want to just blind. I mean, Tyrod Taylor's been in the league a long time. He's been a starter. He's been a backup. I mean, he could figure it out. Don't get me wrong. It's not like Tyrod Taylor would come in there like a deer in the headlights, like a rookie might. You know, you know. I'm just, uh, I'm just saying Malik Willis here. But I don't know if Malik Willis is going to get opportunity with the first string guys. But if he goes in for Tannehill... It'd be a little bit different than Tyra Taylor going in for Daniel Jones. Tyra Taylor's been in the league a long time. Malik Willis hasn't. So it'd be a different situation for a guy like Malik Willis to, to run out there or Carson Strong or anybody that would have to take over, a rookie that would have to take over in the middle of a game, as opposed to a how long has Tyra Taylor been in the league? 12, 13 year veteran who's seen it all, done it all. So it'd be an easier adjustment for him, but he hasn't been with the New York Giants and he hasn't practiced with the New York Giants players. So it makes all the sense in the world to get Tyrod Taylor acclimated to first string reps and not because I believe or Coach Dable believes that he's the best man for the job. Listen, I'm critical of Daniel Jones. I still think Daniel Jones is the best quarterback in his team. I still root for Daniel Jones, even though some people don't think I do. And I want Daniel Jones to succeed because if Daniel Jones succeeds, the Giants succeed. And I've said time and time again, I am a team guy. I'm not a player guy. So the best guy or the, the best opportunity for us to win, that's who I want out there. And I think that's Daniel Jones. As, as much as he's been up and down this summer, I still think he's the best guy for the job. So that's the guy that I want out there. And they even asked Coach Dable, does that mean anything about Daniel Jones? He said, absolutely not. It, it, like, that's not a knock on Daniel Jones. It means absolutely nothing. So it's Daniel Jones is their starter. Tyrod Taylor is not going to be the starter, but Tyrod Taylor is going to see first string reps. He may see reps with the first string guys against the Bengals on Sunday. Now, the Bengals have already come out and said that they're going to rest their starter. So the Giants will be going against the second string unit again, where Dable has said the starters are going to play. Now, he hasn't said how much they're going to play. Could be two series like it was the first game. Maybe they get a third series. Maybe they get a half. I mean, you don't get a lot of preseason games the way you used to. We don't get four preseason games anymore. And usually that last one is for guys fighting for roster spots. Usually your third game out of four was your dress rehearsal. That's kind of what the second one is, I would imagine. Also looking forward to what Colin Johnson can do. I really just want the Giants to get healthy. because They've been banged up. They've been banged up for years. Um, so, you know, we'll see what goes on on Sunday night, but Tyrod Taylor taking first string reps uh, or taking reps of the first string guys, snaps of the first string guys. I don't read anything into this Giants fans. Don't it's, it's not a big deal. Even if Tyrod Taylor did start practice with the first team, it, it means absolutely nothing. Daniel Jones is starting the year unless knock on wood, he doesn't get hurt, but unless something happens to him in training camp. Dan, Daniel Jones is going to be the starting quarterback, but Tyra Taylor should be taking reps with the first string guys. He absolutely should because it just makes all the sense in the world. So Damel knows what he's doing, and hopefully the Giants know what they're doing too. I'm looking forward to doing the game Sunday night with Chris, and we'll see how long the New York Giants starters play. Hey, one other thing I want to mention, the Bengals, they can rest their guys. Remember last year, Joe Judge rest all of his guys. We were not a good team last year, or, you know, 2020, we're 6-10. and 10. Not a good team. Can't rest the guys. When you're Cincinnati and you've been to the Super Bowl, you really don't have to worry about it. You're a good team. Those guys don't need the practice. We certainly do. So we'll see how long the Giants starters go. Tyrod Taylor may get some, may get a series with the starters, but again, don't read anything into it. It's really just simulating a game situation in case that happens to happen. Anyway, that's all I got in this video, guys and girls. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. And yes, if the Yankees lose, I've had many, many, Many DMs are not my comic. Can I rant on the Yankees? Can I rant on the Yankees? I told you, I'm not going to make a rant every day. But trust me, Aaron Hicks has pissed me off to no end. Trust me. 
Trust me, if they lose tonight, yeah, you'll get one tomorrow. Anyway, that's all I got in this video. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday. Bad diggity dizzle. I'm out. Peace.